National! Hooray! All hell, Brint Varys! to be so popular, darling. But of course, you are used to it. Being a real live prince, huh? The name's Silvano, by the way. One of the other riders had a little whoopsie, so I had to step in at the last minute. But don't think I'll be going easy on you just because you're royalty. Where would be the fun in that? Try to keep up, little princey!
done. You are most talented, a far more natural horseman than I had anticipated. <laughs> now quickly, my public await. I shall take the reins from here. <laughs> Fear not, my friend. I have not forgotten my promise. I will discuss the rainbow with my father just as soon as my people have finished showering me with adulation. <laughs> Praise the fates, our plan was a success. Thank you, you have spared me great humiliation. <laughs> I will go immediately to my father and ask about the rainbow. All hail, Prince Faris! Pride of the desert! Horseman extraordinaire! Darling, you are fabulous. It was enough to bring a tear even to my jaded eye. Uh, 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 oh. Wait, don't tell me you were... Surely you didn't let your understudy take the stage for the command performance? <gasps> oh, this is too, too good! Wait, wait! But you do not understand the pressure I am under! A prince of Galopolis who could not ride a horse is a disgrace to the kingdom! I did what was necessary for the sake of my people! And now all can be forgotten. Yes? And there was silly old Silvando thinking that knights never retreated in the face of adversity. Silence! I am the prince of this kingdom and I will not have a traveling jester lecture me on chivalry. <gasps> a thousand pardons, your highness. <gasps> The Sultan wishes to see you, Your Highness. Your magnificent display of horsemanship has pleased him greatly. Very good. I will come right away. My promise still stands. Come to the throne room in a little while. We will see what can be done about this branch of yours. So nice to see a royal with the common touch. You. <laughs> desired is to fulfill my duties as a prince and as a knight. Hmm? Ah. Father, if I may, I have promised to assist these travelers. Would you permit me to explain? Gladly, my son. It warms my heart to see you aiding those in need. Truly, you have taken the knight's pledge to heart. 
Thank you, Father. <laughs> the truth of the matter is that my friends here have come to Galopolis in search of the rainbow. Your Majesty! The beast has returned! It attacked one of our men while we were out on patrol. The Slayer of the Sands is back! Why must the accursed creature always appear on this, the happiest day of the year? We will stand for this no longer! I must dispatch my finest knights and ensure that the fiend never again returns to terrorize the Celestial Sands. But wait! My boy, the fates are speaking to us! Capturing the Slayer would be the perfect way to show your people what a fine knight you have become! What? But... Father! <laughs> so many of our bravest men have confronted the creature and... perished! <laughs> Surely, <laughs> I do not stand a chance! <laughs> Truly, it is the most able who are the most humble. But you cannot hide your true feelings. You are trembling with excitement. <laughs> this is your moment, Faris, my boy. Capture the Slayer and take your place in history. But uh, I... I... Oh, very... Very well, Father. <laughs> Yay! I shall begin my preparations right away. <laughs> oh, 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 a thousand pardons. The, the rainbow will have to wait. Meet me in my chambers. There is something we must discuss. I beg of you, the Slayer of the Sands will tear me limb from limb unless you aid me. Have pity on a desperate soul! Spoken like a true desert knight. Seriously, can't you handle this on your own? No! No, such a thing is impossible! I am no knight! I neglected my training! I allowed my vassals to fight all my battles for me! <laughs> oh, it is not my fault! I am an only child! I was coddled from birth and praised for the most insignificant of achievements! I did not wish to disappoint my parents or my people, so I, I, I found ways of, of seeming to fulfill their expectations without necessarily doing so. But the more I fulfilled them, the more their expectations grew, and now finally they expect the impossible. Ow, 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 it's so unfair. Don't you see? If you refuse to help me, I will be sent to my doom, and through no fault of my own. <laughs> Please, will you take pity on your own friend? <laughs> Ten thousand thank yous! <laughs> and fear not, I will speak to my father about the rainbow as soon as the beast is captured. We must make preparations to depart immediately! I will await you at the castle gates! What a pathetic excuse for a prince! 
goodness knows what'll become of Galopolis with him in charge. Oh, we mustn't be so hard on him, Veronica. I'm sure it can't be easy growing up with everyone expecting so much of you. I mean no disrespect, Your Highness, but how could you do this to us? You have volunteered us for certain death. Fear not, trusted retainers. We do not journey into the jaws of danger alone. Ha! Impeccable timing as always. Allow me to introduce our knights in shining armor. These brave adventurers have agreed to capture the Slayer for us. Now, the Beast Lair is said to be located deep within the Celestial Sands. The fastest route is through the checkpoint to the west. We march immediately for Galopolis! Oh. For Galopolis. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Room for a little one? Oh, I'd hate to miss a good beast hunt. Huh? Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as a good beast hunt, friend. If I were you, I'd run along back to the circus. Well, aren't you just a lovely, patronizing little deer? Look, I'm worried about the half-wit prince getting himself killed. Can I come with you or not? Hmm. At least one of you has some sense. Lead on, darling!
Another one bites the dust. Let us spend the night here. The monster will have to wait. <sighs> oh. Oh, ah, <laughs> there you are. Uh, as you can see, I have decided to set up camp. We will continue our quest in the morning. That's right. You get your beauty sleep, Princey dear. You've got a hard day of getting us to do your dirty work for you to be preparing for. Come on, you. 
Let's have a sit down and a nice chat, shall we? So, two boys and two girls out on a lovely adventure together, huh? How romantic! But what kind of adventure, I wonder? Come on, spill the beans! To be perfectly honest, we're none too sure ourselves just yet. But for the moment, we're trying to get to Yggdrasil. We need to understand more about the mystery surrounding the Luminary, you see. It's all to do with a horrible being called the Dark One. He wants to bring death and destruction to the world. And we want to stop him. All right, Big Mouth, that's enough. You don't need to tell the Jolly Jester our whole life story. We barely know him. My, 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 my. So there's a dastardly villain coming to steal all the smiles and laughter from the world. And you four heroes are on a daring mission to stop him before it's too late. Oh, now that does sound fun. <laughs> You've got a strange idea of fun. What about you, Silvando? What made you leave home and set out on the road? <laughs> oh, you don't want to hear my boring old stories. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Come on, kitties. Betty buys. <sighs> well, aren't we full of mysteries? What's his deal? The Slayer of the Sands was last seen here. Ah. <laughs> the cowardly creature is nowhere to be found. It must have fled in fear. Let us return to the castle and inform my father of our success.
Ben Adam principal, show that filthy thing what real knights are made of. Oh dear, looks like poor old Ferris has been... Come on gang, this little drama needs a hero or two.
Next up. That will teach you to be so grumpy. Now, hold nice and still while I tie you up. The Slayer of the Sands is bested, all in a day's work for the Prince of Galopolis. <laughs> you saw me, men, did you not? You saw the people's prince defeat the fiend that terrorized them so. Uh, yes, your highness. Of course, your highness. <sighs> You have my thanks, Fred. My heroic feat would not have been possible without your... valuable contribution. <laughs> I still have not forgotten what I promised. I will speak with my father about the rainbow upon my return. You may rest assured of that. Really, Principal? That's how you're gonna play it? And what do you think they'll be expecting of you next, huh? You speak as though I have a choice! Are you suggesting that I disappoint my father and the citizens of Galopolis? <sighs> I'm not suggesting anything, darling. You do what you need to do. <laughs> Galopolis men, we return as heroes! Yeah! Oh, well, this feels all kinds of wrong. You're right, Silvando. Nothing's going to change if he keeps on pretending. Oh, I think the poor boy knows that well enough. All he needs is a little push. Anyway, I'd better be getting along. I'm sure we'll bump into each other again soon. Ciao for now, my loves!
Another one bite. Nice. I feel better than ever.
And it is that same love that will allow me to continue serving you until my dying death. We have no need to be afraid. Prince Faris will protect us. Yes, yes! We have nothing to fear with the prince on our side! Well, my boy, your people are weak. Let them see firsthand the fearless desert knight you have become. Father, father, I cannot. Repeat after me now. A knight's word? Uh, a knight's word is his bond, his kingdom, his master. Hmm? Huh? Huh? <gasps> well, don't stop. He serves the weak untiringly, challenges the strong unflinchingly, and, and never retreats in the face of adversity. That's more like it. Now, my little princey Pooh, do you want to be remembered as a miserable coward or a hero who died fighting to the end? There's a night of Galopolis! Wonderful. Amazing what you can do when you put your mind to it, huh? Wait! Did you...? I won't always be here to remind you what it means to be a knight, though. Better not go forgetting again, huh? Friend, where did you become so well-versed in the ways of chivalry? Are you a knight? Who, me? Don't be ridiculous, darling. I'm just a silly old jester. captured the Slayer of the Sands. Forgive me. Faris, look at me. The burden that was placed upon you, it was more than any boy could be expected to bear. It is I who must apologize, not you. But rest assured that I have learned my lesson. I will not make the same mistake again. And it seems you have learned something too, despite your protestations. 
The bravery you showed was worthy of a true knight. Sir Hendrik will be happy to take one such as yourself under his wing, I am sure. Your dream will come true at last. I am so pleased for you. <laughs> Hendrik? Wasn't that the name of the guy who was chasing us? Ah, but I am forgetting our guests. Father, these travelers came to Galopolis in search of the rainbow. It is a royal treasure, of course. But surely you agree that they have done more than enough to deserve it. Certainly, certainly. But my boy, I sold the rainbow to a traveling merchant. What? What would compel you to sell one of our most precious treasures? Are you blind, boy? Did you not notice the grandeur with which we celebrated this year's Sand National? We made a sacrifice for your sake. Father, I... All I can tell you is that the merchant to whom I sold the rainbow headed west towards Gondolia. This letter will grant you passage through the checkpoint that leads there. Perhaps someone can tell you what became of the branch. Pardons! I did not know that the rainbow was no longer in the kingdom. Truly, I did not. It is scant consolation, I am sure. But please, take this. Its value cannot possibly compare, but it has been prized by generations of Gallopolitan knights. It allows one to provoke distant foes into combat and is an excellent way to gain battle experience. Or so I am told. <laughs> you have done our kingdom a great service. Should you ever need our assistance, you need only say the word. And as for me, I will be sorry to see you leave. But I am sure there will be other Gallum. <laughs> <coughs> Kindly travelers along soon enough. <laughs> yeah. Mm. beginning to think you had snuck out through the stage door. Huh? Hey! You again. What do you want this time? Hey! Ta-da! No. Oh, don't be coy, darling. I want to come with you, of course. You should never have told me about your heroic quest if you didn't want me to tag along. What are you talking about? You can't just decide to come with us. This isn't a game. <sighs> Believe me, honey, I know it isn't. I've seen my fair share of fun and games on my travels. What kind of jester would I be if I hadn't? But I've seen tragedy too. 
people attacked by monsters, all kinds of awful things. You know, my dream has always been to build a wonderful theater. Somewhere I can put on performances that will make millions smile. But how can I do that if this dark one of yours is going to be out there making people's lives awful? What I'm trying to say, darlings, is that we all want the same thing. So you see, I have to come with you. Oh, don't all squeal at once now. This guy really doesn't take no for an answer, huh? Guess I'm part of the gang now. Yay! So, tell me, what's our next move? Well, to get to Yggdrasil, we're going to need the Rainbow. And it seems that a traveling merchant has taken it to Gondolia. Gondolia? But honey, that's a port town. He's probably hopped on a boat and set sail by now. That's true. Well... Then we'll have to buy tickets for the ferry, and... The ferry? Please, darling. We don't have time to be riding the ferry with the little people. Well, what's your bright idea, then? I was thinking a sheep of our own might be more chic, no? And luckily for you, I happen to have picked up a lovely little number in the end of season sales. What? You've got your own boat? That's amazing! You're going up in my estimation by the minute! You'd really be willing to let us use your ship, Mr. Sylvander? But of course, sweetie! That's what friends are for! And guess where the old girl is dog, hmm? No? Why, Gondolia, of course! Lucky! So what are we waiting for? The ocean beckons, shipmate! Westward Ho!
wonderful. else wants some?
beautiful place. It feels as though the whole town is bobbing up and down in the waves. So this is Gondolia, huh? I heard there were some big scores to be had here. Rich merchants from all over the world, ships full of treasure, you name it. And this is where you're keeping your ship, Silvando. The ship that you own. Don't tell me you're some kind of millionaire. <gasps> oh, come now, Ronnie, darling. You know it's not polite to pry. All right. The docks are in the southwest of the town. Last one there's a rotten egg. This mean, mean man won't let us into the docks. It's nothing personal. The docks are off limits for everybody now. It's because of la competizione. Great. So I guess we just have to sit tight till this contest thing is over, huh? See, si, it's the only choice. I am sorry, but Signor Universo is molto, molto importante event for people of Gondolia. Senor Universo, you say? Now that sounds like fun. Tell me more, honey. I'm all ears. Naturalmente. Senor Universo is for men of all ages. The winner, he must be a powerful like the waves, graceful like the breeze, and deep like the sea. La competizione is reason why Gondolia is so filled with the strong and admirable men in this moment. Ooh, I love a little pageantry. Come on, darlings, let's go see what it's all about. We can sample some local delicacies to get ourselves in the mood. I hear they're to die for. Well, who's with me? Come on, you know you want to. I'm not that bothered about whatever silly contest they're having. But I am quite peckish. I'd love to try a few local treats. Seriously? We're not here on holiday, you know. We're supposed to be looking for the rainbow. Right, Serena? Um, well, um... I'm so sorry, but I'm really rather hungry myself, and... Well, 
We can't leave until the contest's over anyway, so... <laughs> I don't believe this. Hey, listen. We're kind of in a hurry here. And we really need to get to the dock. Do you know who's in charge of this contest? Naturalmente. The person in the charge is Dojo Rotondo. He is in the charge of everything in our town. His villa is in the northeast part of Gondolia. You must speak with him. He is so much a kind man. Molto gentile. You heard the man. Let's go ask this doge guy to let us into the docks. <laughs> <laughs>